Oh, hello, and welcome to Late Night Filming with Eva. We're gonna talk about what I wish I knew in high school and just kind of a general, like, what I hope everyone knows before they go to high school. Number one is that whatever you think is really important probably isn't. I remember being completely just destroyed by social things that were happening around me that three years later, I can barely recall what the issue was. I can just remember the anxiety around it that I faced. So if I can't remember what the problem was, only that it upset me, was it really worth being upset about at all? Don't stress out about what people think of you. It's, they're gonna think what they wanna think. All through high school, even though I was in relationships in high school, everyone thought I was a lesbian and they thought I was a raging lesbian. No, I'm not offended by this, but it was highly inaccurate uh, considering that everyone that I was with in high school was a guy I was dating and they were all men and I had shown very little interest in women. People also thought I was really weird because I was a French kid and I volunteered and I was like a little bit sad looking and I wore sweatpants a lot and people had a lot of really nasty things to say about me and guess what? I'm now an adult. I went to college. And I faced all the same issues in college I did in high school and did any of it matter in the long run? No. In fact most of the people that were actually, I can confidently say, all of the people who were bashing me in high school and saying rude things about me in high school no longer exist in my life because as an adult I had the choice to remove everyone. And some people I didn't want to remove but, you know, they fell out of my life. But everyone I didn't want there, I just went, okay, see you, bye, I never have to talk to you again. Uh, actually, the day, our last day of school, I went, okay, bye everyone, I'm moving to a different city. And they just kind of went, okay. And no one really talked to me after that and that's fine, I got to become an adult with you know, put a new face forward on myself where anything that anyone ever thought about me in high school didn't matter because I wasn't other people's ideas. I was putting myself forward as the person that I wanted to be as an adult. So did any of that matter? No, no it didn't. Your grades may seem like the absolute end of the world. And to a degree, you know, you do have to be aware of them and work hard and get good grades. You know, if you want to get into a good university in that, yes, having better grades is important. You know what else is important when you're trying to get into university or get scholarships, I'm gonna tell you. Spend your time volunteering. Don't get a job in high school unless it's on the weekends or just in the summers. Uh, don't work during the week because what you should be during, doing during the week is volunteering. It's something credible that people can call and reference it on. Volunteer and do your homework. And you know what? Spend some time with your friends, have some fun. But volunteer, trust me, when you go to apply for scholarships in post-secondary, that's what's going to save you because everyone wants to see that you've done something that proves that you're a person worthy of help, that you've done things in the past that merits you to have this money to go to school. And do your homework so you can get into a good post-secondary. Even if you're not planning on post-secondary, it never hurts to walk out of there with the opportunity to go in a year or two if you change your mind because fact is, what you think you're going to do at 18 is almost never what you're going to do at 20. <laughs> So those are my thoughts on high school. I, there's so many things that people said and so many things that seemed so vastly important back then that as an adult I realize have no importance at all. And it seems like the biggest thing in your life and people say that high school is the best years of your life and I deeply disagree with that. Nothing I did in high school is important to me now and certainly wasn't the best time of my life. I don't even think I've reached the best time of my life. It just keeps getting better as time goes by. <laughs> High school is probably one of the low points of my life, and I think a lot of people would agree with that. There's so many social pressures in high school, so many things changing around you, and so many just stresses that pile on you, and you're filled with other angsty teenagers that are all going through the same thing, so you treat each other badly, and it's, it's a breeding ground for chaotic anxiety, essentially. It gets a lot better once you get out of high school. And if there's a personality or something about yourself that you do not necessarily want to present to people in high school because you're afraid of the way that they're going to react, adults react a lot better to news than teenagers do because their prefrontal cortex is developed enough to react appropriately instead of teenagers of whom may or may not act appropriately. And none of this is like a bash of teenagers. I was one not long ago. I understand the struggle. The struggle is in fact real, but having a little foresight to see you know, this is not your whole life. This is only a couple years of your life and they really aren't going to define you. It helps you get through it. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, please hit like, comment down below, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.